They come in waves, drifting into the ice cream stand right on the side of the road in Rye, sure as the tide. Can we get strawberry, please? A sunny day on the seacoast calls for a cone at Legos. Just the mint chocolate chip. Where a second scoop or a splash of sprinkles will make you dance. For more than 40 years, ice cream lovers linger in line at Legos, picking the perfect flavor and savoring the trip with their dogs, like River, just rescued by his new family, and ready to dig into a doggy bowl specially made for pups with a treat on top. Sit. Oh boy, wait, wait, wait. Good boy, okay. All right, hold on. Good boy. Charlie is a regular riding a sidecar to the ice cream stand. And I like ice cream. It's wonderful. What about Charlie? <laughs> he likes ice cream too. He comes with me all the time. He'll have to wait till he cruises home to get his treat. Bye, Charlie. Another four-legged regular, Marshmallow, wagged his way to the Legos window for years. Now his owner, Julie, returns with hugs. Bring it in, please. Bring it in. What to hug in. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Brina, the general manager, was there that day when Julie and Marshmallow needed a kind soul. That one day of ice cream is something that one I'll never forget, and two, I made some phenomenal friends out of. Phenomenal friends. Julie was saying goodbye to Marshmallow that day after 15 years together, with a final stop at one of his favorite spots. We would share pineapple, fresh pineapple ice cream. I was like, you know, he's going to get his fresh pineapple ice cream. So I came here, walked up to the window, and ordered him some fresh pineapple ice cream with hot fudge. Was kindly told, you know, hot fudge isn't good for dogs. And I said, he can have it today. I just remember the words, it's okay today, when I asked about the hot fudge and immediately understanding the weight of that comment. <laughs> oh, look at that. You got an ice cream mustache. <laughs> and she caught on to what I was talking about. I started bawling. She caught on. Next thing I know, she was standing beside me. Steve was standing beside me. I'm crying. And Steve was sitting on the ground feeding him ice cream. Steve is not only the ice cream stand owner, but a devoted dog lover. Kind of help Julie get through that moment and then treat Marshy for his last ice cream. You know, treat a dog the way they ought to be treated on their way to the Rainbow Bridge. It was a horrible day to begin with, losing your best friend. Here I am taking him alone to say goodbye to him, and then all of a sudden I have these people that I've never met in my life that are spending, you know, this half hour with me that have now become part of my life. There you go, sweetheart. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, that's good, honey. They asked Julie to return after Marshy crossed the Rainbow Bridge. I come back and there's ice cream for me, there's hugs. I'm crying, they're crying. It was just, it was nice to not be alone. Those precious moments with Marshmallow touched so many people, Legos wanted to share the love, creating a treat in his name for humans to benefit a canine charity. Marshy's Rainbow Sunday supports Operation Delta Dog. To be able to raise funds to um, help provide veterans with um, trained dogs is just really important to us. This is called a Marshy Sunday. Start with a big scoop of Marshy's favorite pineapple ice cream. Some heaping hot fudge topped high with whipped cream. It's not just a business, it's a giant family. That family feeling is an important ingredient for Steve and his wife, Andrea. My father-in-law and mother-in-law, Carol and Mike Lego, bought the business in 1981. Gramps, Andrea's grandfather, showed Steve the ice cream ropes. He taught me to make ice cream. He was the nicest person on the planet. It was so, yeah, I was, I was very fortunate to be taught by him. Steve is still proud of his award-winning creation, Kahlua Fudge Brownie, still on the list with other ice cream inventions. 
Well, your favorite flavor on the menu is? Cappuccino Slam. Yeah, cappuccino ice cream with a fudge hazelnut swirl. And tell me about Scotty Lego's bronze yeah, run. Gotta have that. So uh, my nephew, Scotty Lego, was in the Vancouver 2010 Olympics. He won the bronze medal in the half pipe. So when he came back, I was like, well, we gotta name something for you, Scotty. It's a caramel ice cream. It has toasted coconut, toasted walnuts, chocolate chips, and a graham cracker crumb. Long before the Legos took over, this business started as the Big Scoop. Back in 1957, one of the past owners, Priscilla, even visited. She came last year. She's in her 90s. It was pretty cool because she used to tell us how it was run. Since then, a celebration stop at Legos has become part of so many life events. Baseball teams will come here. Now it's a meeting place. And top choice for ice cream loving dogs. They'll tell me that they can tell where they are on Route 1. The dog will just start going cuckoo because they know they're coming for their treat. And you get to see the customers that you've had forever. And of course their doggies, which I love. I try to remember all their names. What do you think, buddy? Oh, can you sit? Good boy. The dogs will keep coming here to lap up their days of summer. Best friends will meet in sundresses and summer hats on the granite bench. And families will make memories a spoonful at a time. Because sometimes it's about more than the ice cream. Why do you love more, dogs or ice cream? I'd have to say dogs. Yeah, I love dogs.